Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So you guys, if you're new around here, my name's Shakima. Hey y'all, I'm a single mom. I have four children. I have two girls, Alana and Shamika. I have two boys, Trandon and Jackson. I have a fur dog, her name is Gracie. And I have a fur grand dog, his name is Acro. Acro came to live with us a couple months ago while Shamika is in school in California. So uh, we do lots of things around here. And one of the things that is my absolute favorite thing, well, we do budgets, we do grocery hauls, we do reviews, we do cook with me's, we do keto, we do Whole30, we do trim healthy, you name it, we do it. Groceries, we do the sinking funds, we do all the things. One of my very, very favorite things to do is actually the Artsa box. So Artsa is an online subscription company that reached out to me several boxes ago. So it's, gosh, we're going on, on a year now, I guess. And um, they give you the Holy Land experience. So this box uh, comes to your mailbox and it actually gives you uh, some items from artisans that live in the Holy Land. So we've done a couple boxes. I think we did Bethlehem. Uh, we did... Um, Jerusalem, we've done, gosh, I can't remember. We've done a couple boxes. But this one is coming from Golan Heights. And I think, see, I always get kind of teary-eyed when I talk about this. And y'all, it's just, it's just how my heart feels about the Lord, right? So to know that things come to me from places that he was or places that he, you know, traversed during his time on earth. And I know some people may not, you know, agree with that thought process, but it definitely does something to my heart to know that there are items in this box from places that he was. So I usually get the premium box. This is what they send me, the premium box. And um, we've used this for homeschooling. We've used, um, and when I say homeschooling, they give you all these, when I say homeschooling, they give you the 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 prettiest um, full color pictures. And this says it's box number seven. This is Golan Heights. And then on the back of it, it, it says, welcome to Golan. It gives you some very uh, pretty pictures of the mountain area. And then it gives you Psalm 133. happens every time I do this box. Psalm 133, beloved, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord has commanded the blessing life forevermore. And I had a couple of instances today where I've not been in unity with some of my brothers. Um, and I've asked for forgiveness for my, my tone and all that. But to just flip this over, because it's the first time I'm opening the box, just to flip this over and read that verse. It's honestly 100% like God knows everything about you. Me. And he cares about all the things, right? So I'd get weepy. I don't think I've done one of these boxes and haven't cried. Y'all pray for me because <laughs> um, anyway. And then on the back, they give you some words and then uh, how you pronounce them in Hebrew and then um, what they look like using the Hebrew alphabet. And so that's always a good, you know, from, I always think about homeschooling. If you homeschool, that would be a good way. And then these are so neat and so sturdy that you could kind of keep these. You could laminate them if you wanted to. And just kind of have, have your kids. You could actually do like a unit study on Golan. And just have the kids do like internet search on places. You could actually have them do an internet search on the artisan. So it also gives you, this is what comes in the box. And this is a little kind of a highlight on every artisan that puts something in the box. So it does tell me. Um, what I'm getting in this box. So I'm going to get mouth-watering delicious sumac spices. I'm going to get herbal tea. I'm going to get um, a candle. I'm going to get an alphabet wood puzzle. That's the Hebrew alphabet. Um, I'm going to get some the Karina white chocolate. Oh, mm -hmm. 
a um, ancient olive oil lamp and jug replica from the time of Jesus. I think that might have been when um, kind of like the virgins went out with their lamps and their oil. Make sure your oil is full, okay? Because when the bridegroom come, if, if you do not have oil, you will not get in, period. <laughs> um, and then for premium subscribers, you have a hand-painted piece of art as well. So this, this tells you what's included in the box. And then of course it has the beautiful pictures, right? And then every artisan who put something in, they have their own bio card, which I absolutely love, right? So they get a bio card and then on the back, it'll tell you about their, their product. So Meredith, she did the spice. Uh, this is um, Eli and Galit, they did the puzzle the alphabet, the Hebrew alphabet puzzle. And then this is what it looks like. And then this is David Ross and he did the uh, native tea. So David Ross and the tea. And this is what it looks like all presented. And then this is Karina and she did the milk chocolate. Chef Karina and here's the chocolate. So let's actually get into the box. And then they also, too, give you a couple of postcards, which are very pretty as well. And each postcard, oh, this is actually a recipe. Yeah, so this is a recipe card. This is the chicken with the smack spice. And it gives you um, all of the ingredients that you would need and all the instructions for cooking. And then you have uh, the Galma Fortress this one is a, a postcard. And then you also have Mount Hermon. And that is a postcard as well. So I just think they do a beautiful presentation of um, all of the things that they send. So let's jump in and see what we have. Okay. They always do a beautiful presentation every single time. Oh, look at this. Now, I'm going to enjoy cooking with this, right? Um, this is sumac spice. It's very, it's a vibrant red. Look at that. I'm going to put that on all the things, chicken and pork and fish. This is, it has dried crushed sumac. Um, and it says it may contain some other things that, you know, you would be weary of if you had a nut allergy, might be, uh, process in the same plant. It says best if used by 6523. That's awesome. And it gives you all of the um, nutritional information on the back. Let me look for the carbs. Total carbs, zero. Hey, now I'm here for it. Um, let's see what else comes in here. Okay. This is from, that is the extra thing for the premium members. So I'm going to put that to the side. Okay. Here is, oh, this must be the candle. Okay, let's see. Oop. Everything is packaged so that nothing breaks. And I did have something that broke. I had, um, it was a little chip in one of the um, hand carved bowls that they sent me or the clay bowl. They actually sent me a new one. Um, and I was like, no, it's no problem. This is the um, scented soy wax candle. 100% vegan handmade. Oh, that smells lovely. 100% vegan. Single wick, but it smells really nice. And, okay, let's see. Oh, here's the tea. Now, we're not tea drinkers over here, so we already know who we're going to gift this to. Um, it says, I love it. It says, Made in Israel. But they do also have um, Instagram and Facebook information. So you get 20 tea bags. This is the Golan Heights blend lemongrass rolls and lemon verbena. So that's what that looks like. Shalva tea, Israeli herbal infusion. How about that? That's neat. Okay, this must be the little puzzle. Okay, I want to open this. So this is the pretty wooden box. Has a top that you lift off. And then it has the puzzle inside. 
or the alphabet, right? So it has these little pieces that are representative of the alphabet, and then it has, okay, these cards to show you how to put together different words, right? And so you would use the wooden pieces to put together the cards. Um, a friend of mine, she has a preschool, and so I think I'm gonna pass this along to her preschool and see if they can get some enjoyment out of uh, learning Hebrew, Hebrew words. I think that would be lovely for them. Okay, oh, okay, here is the, um, uh, the chocolate. This is white chocolate squares with raw cacao, uh, raw cocoa nibs, All right? So that's what that is. Nutritional information on the back. Only four grams of carb in three pieces. Oh. oh my goodness, only four grams of carbs. And all the information on the back is in Hebrew, right? That's awesome. I'm opening this because I want to see what the packaging looks like. Okay. So it is packaged. You can't see it inside. You have to open it. But only four grams of carbs in three pieces, which I've not seen before. I'm not a white chocolate fan, but I'm gonna give it a try right, to see how that works out. And then, oh, okay, this, oh, this is the lamp and the um, filler set. So this is what I would think that the virgins, when they were going out to meet the bridegroom, so this holds the oil, and this is the lamp where you have to keep filling it, and then this is where your wick would go through here, right? so that it could be lit. That's very pretty. Love it. Yep, it's the parable of the wise virgins. I'm trying to open this. Let me get my life together so I can open it. It's the parable of the wise, oh my goodness. It gives you, it talks about the wise virgins and it gives you the story, it tells you to be wise, be ready goes over that story again and again I get my pastor was asking us the other day he said how do you how does one know that they really have faith and I said of course you know we're like trick question was he was he want to know and I was like you know for me the true test for me to know if I have faith is God right? He, his word, what he says, because he's never lied, ever, not one time. And I always go back to, to that in my life. If there's a missing piece, it's not his piece. It's something in me. It's something that I missed, something that I was unwilling to do. And look at that. That gives you such a clear picture of, you know, just how much oil they they could they could hold. It's it's tiny, right? It's really tiny, and so they only the the foolish versions only had just what they had in here. The wise virgins had extra to refill it while they were waiting. And the reason I think that's so important, or why it's important to me is because God has always been himself, right? And as I navigate life and navigate my world and navigate different things that I'm, I go through every day, his word is always true. It's never not true. And so it just, it encourages me to keep on keeping on, no matter what the situation is, whether it has, you know, it, it, it something happened or, you know, something didn't go my way or I had to give up on something that I really wanted, it still really goes back to what the, what does the word of God say about the situation. And um, God is just very good. And then in the premium box, um, you get this... Um, 
from this artist here. And it is a painting. It's a painting. Oh, this is very pretty. That's very pretty. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh my goodness. And this comes in the premium box. And as I'm thinking, where can I sit this in my house so that I can always remember? And he did sign it. Um, the Lord prompted just right now and said, nope, I want you to give it to this person. And I'm like, wow, God. God is just very real to me. I don't know how he is to other people. But I would say this, if God is not real to you, then you should get to know the real God, right? He is a tangible live being and he ministers to my soul every single day. Every single day, almost every single minute of my life. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, so anywho, there it is, you guys, the Arts of Box. This is a good one, it's very neat. And I'm so excited to be able to um, present this to you guys this, this time. Box number seven, Golan Heights. There will be a link down in the description box below. I will be very upfront and say that I am an arts affiliate. So if you order anything, I do get a small little percentage of that. As of yet, I've not received any percentages, but that is okay. I'm always happy to bring the box and I hope that somebody will want to have this experience um, of going to the holy city without having to leave their home. Again, it's one of those things where your kids could do a walkthrough of this area if they homeschool, you can also learn the Hebrew. Or you could talk about the little, um, every little artifact, like for this week in uh, Salvation Siblings, which is a teen youth group that I do. I think I'm going to use the lamp and the, and the uh, oil holder and have a lesson on that so that they can see just how tiny it is and to know to always be ready with, um, you know, we never know when Jesus is going to come. That's not for us to know. But um, it's just for us to be ready. So, anywho, you guys, before I cry again, here we are, the Arts of Box. If you have any questions about it, please leave me a comment down below. We hope that you will go and at least check out their website. There will be a link down in the description box below. No pressure or anything to, to buy. It's just an experience that I love every single time I get to open a box. And it's like quarterly, right? So, I think it's four boxes a year. So this was this this quarter's box, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Of course, this comes in the premium box, so, but I already know which home this is going to go to. So that's very, very exciting for me to be able to share and pass along um, the blessings that God, you know, blesses me with. So anywho, you guys, there it is. If you like the video, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Like, uh, share the video if you feel like someone would enjoy it. Um, if you haven't become a part of our YouTube family, consider it. We would love to have you stay with us and hang out all the time. Thanks so much for stopping by and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.